We traveled from Cardiff, Wales to Salisbury, England via rental car. The two and a half hour journey was interrupted by a short stop at Stonehenge. look like before snow. Buses down there that take you. I would have loved to walk, but it's really wet today. Smells like burning wood in here. Oh, it's nice and dry in here. It is. It smells like someone had a fire, that's nice. <laughs> Maybe that's how they kept their, their burning. 
Like that's their wood, maybe. Yeah, get their dry. Yeah, they just. That's well, be their bed, hey? Awesome. Keeps them off the floor. Yeah. That one was oh, never cool. mind. Here's some wood. Oh, yeah. I only got one. Another bed. Maybe that's just fire starter. Yeah. This one. Oh, this one's got double beds. And a bigger fireplace. Shelves. Oh yeah, they're living in style over here. They got shelves. I'd like to go to the bathroom. Huh? I'd like to go to the bathroom before we go down there. So I don't have to wait at that. So you know us, we'd normally opt to walk, but it's raining, it's cold, so we're going to get to the bus. So as you can tell, our audio didn't do so well here. I think the rain was clogging up the microphone port. Absolutely. So we'll spare you guys all of the jazz that's going on here and just kind of, you know, talk about our experience. This was our only day here. We couldn't reschedule this. We had to brave it. One thing everyone should know is we actually filmed this twice. We filmed it all. And then Sandy like came with the bus. She's like, let's go do it again. Set up all the tripods and stuff of us raving and winds blowing. <laughs> That's because I forgot some things. So, yeah, we had to come back and do it again. Uh, the, I think the worst part about this all is when we get to the hotel later that um, they don't turn on their heating systems during the summer months here. And uh, basically we had wet clothes going into the next day and that kind of wasn't that fun. But other than that... This was our Stonehenge experience, and uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. It was pretty fun. I think that, um, no. Well, you can tell that we're having fun, and I think we're in the moment, like, really feeling the history and, and all the cool stuff. Even though it was raining, we, we were really happy to be there. Yeah, it was a great day, even with all of that rain. So, rain, wind, and what have you. There is one time of the year that they do open it up so that you can actually go and touch the stones. You can go past that rope barrier and that's one day for the Druids, I believe. And it's a special day for them. Yeah. So I guess if there's a point in time you want to come to this and actually go up to the stones themselves, you'll have to do a little research on when that will be. And uh, you can get past those rope barriers. But uh, bye Stonehenge, hopefully we'll cut to see you at another time.
greatly sweet. Half on. Smells like flowers. Oh, look at what we got <laughs> on a nice day. Oh, okay, very nice. TV, bed, bathroom, decent shower, place to sit. Yeah. I don't know if you can see, but I have some water on my shoes. It's pushing. Is it already on? Probably on. But it's not doing anything. So maybe there's another switch. Maybe there's another spot downstairs to Going in our slippers and we got wet feet. So Scott's gonna get bangers and mash their award-winning sausage from their local butcher served with onion gravy and baked beans or broccoli. Hi. Hi. How can I help? Um, I think I want to get the bangers and mash. I wonder what this is. <laughs> How's your beer? <laughs> It smells like it's gonna be hoppy, and it has kind of a hoppy undertone, but it doesn't taste bitter. Hmm. That's his bangers and mash. That's my soup of the day. It looks like split pea. It's a little too hot. Okay, we'll visit you later then, or you want to try? Let's try it. Same kind of sausage as we've been having. Is it award winning? I think it's your bread. But it's like sausage with no flavor. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's how they do it. <laughs> Let me get yours. Oh, this is the first time I ever got a soup and no spoon. Oh no. I'll have to get a spoon. <laughs> Does it have flavor? No, not really. All right, it's, it's British. Now. It's British food. I could tell you it's broccoli. Broccoli? That yeah. looks. That looks like pea soup. So I'd be happy that it was broccoli if I were you. I like peas. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I'm not you. <laughs>